So uh, I will uh, I welcome you, Fabiane, and uh, you all here uh, for the lecture from Fabiane Borges, our first as part of our new research project on techno body practices. Researchers in this project are Mona Sheeran, Tom Cordes, and me, and me, you, and Max Grunberg at University Kassel. They are there also at Teams. And we will have four public lectures from different ancient disciplines during this semester. And Fabiane Borges' lecture is also part of the Salon Digital presentations, which takes place already since 2016. And it's the 38th Salon. It's, and uh, this Salon Digital, for those who do not know this, is looking for reenactments in art, science, and technology and is curated from Dennis Paul, Ralf Becker and me. And now I want to introduce Fabiane. Hello, Fabiane. Fabiane is a PhD in clinical psychology, a researcher, a curator, and an essayist. She has worked in the field of immersive traits between clinical and contemporary art practices, and was invited in a lot of heterogeneous contexts, also as Transmediale in Berlin, or in different contexts, for example, in connection with the Universita in Rio de Janeiro. In general, she researches the interrelations between subjectivity, art, and technoscience. She developed a research platform in space art and space science and artistic residences held at the National Institute for Space Research between 2019 and 2022. She also done postdoctoral research in art and technology at the nucleus of arts and new organisms and a doctoral internship at Goldsmith University of London. Currently, she is collaborator and researcher at the Diversitas, Nuclear uh, Estudos da Diversidades, Intolerancias o e Conflitos e Universidad de Sao Paulo. And one activity from her is also the platform Techno Shamanism as a Social Clinic for the Future. And she is also the author of many texts like the text we read here a lot, or some of you read it, Ancestralism, Ancestralities and Techno-Shamanism. Uh, yeah. And now I'm looking forward to your lecture, Fabian. Ah, here I have to look. Uh, hello. Can you hear? Now you're frozen. <laughs> it was done. She was never all the time. She was not frozen. <laughs> Hello. Ah, now you're Can playing. you hear okay. me? Yes. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Oh my God. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> I I had to change uh, place because after 40 minutes, I think the internet um, was tricky. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure you can listen to me. I hope yes. Yeah, yeah, we, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I, I, 
you were not moving for me, so it's strange. But okay, so thank you, Harm, Andrea, Mona, to invite me to the salon. Um, and thank you for uh, who came to listen my talk. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. So I will try to be really clear because my English is not um, good enough to give conference, but I try my best. I will try my best here. Okay, so I will share some images. Um, just harm, just keep saying if he, you can listen because here is really, um, you were like, um, stop it for me. Harm? Yes, I will let you know, but everything looks good so far. Okay. So I will show my experience um, about dreams. I am doing, doing for a while, and it's not the unique work I, I do, uh, but um, I, um, you asked me for uh, talk about uh, ancestral futurism and techno shamanism. And I thought how to share all these concepts and ideas. And I think when I talk about dreams and our work with dreams, it goes really uh, faster. Uh, you can understand better because if not, we, we get too conceptual and they don't um, share any practice. So the dream uh, works like uh, rejected futures versus the anti-rejecting of dreams. I think it's a good resume of all this ancestral futurism, techno shamanism, and um, that's it. I will start. Um, let just continue. just shortly, um, we can still see the the uh, software. Uh, yeah. You cannot see my presentation. I can see the presentation. It's just uh, we can still see the. It's not in the presentation mode. I, I mean. Okay. So yes, I put okay. dreaming, dreaming the climate change here. I put because um, it is something that appeared a lot in the dreams and. Um, it's necessary to pay attention in what the dreams say. And uh, all the things about climate change uh, appear a lot, like tsunamis or uh, deserts of salt and uh, no trees, dirt, water. These things happen a lot. And during the pandemic, it appeared more. So, because that I put dreaming the climate change, um, because it's from where my work is going um, nowadays. So, uh, I, I separated some key concepts just for you know what we are talking about when we talk about uh, all these techno shamanic ancestral futurism and um, uh, futures. Um, Anti, um, anti kidnapping of futures and dreams. So I work with this a lot more, but I resume it in 14 um, concepts that uh, mental health, of course, no, I'm psychologist. Mental health is always like my base and the artist, curator, and technology comes after that. So, collective mental health, all this Anthropocene and its deriva derivations, Capitolocene, Technocene, uh, fertilization of imaginary, or imaginary fertilization, future hangers, or uh, future hunters as well. Dream anti hijacking scheme, scam, perspectivism, animism, 
Dreaming cl uh, climate change, the earth, cosmos, ancestral futurism, dream treatment, and dream training, as I call like a clinical subjectivity. Noisecratic program, uh, like how to make um, trains or um, transi or um, immersion based in dreams. And in this case, in noisy noisy is um, a group of um, methodologies we use for mix dreams and uh, put it the, the signs of it together. So anomia, uh, mixing of signs and trends. This this is important. So derivated dreams, dreams of others. How to dream the dreams of others and not just your dream. Um, narrative sculpture, uh, like dream construction from pieces of dreams from others. Perma, perma, performatization process, like bringing the dream experience into the body. 11, network of the unconscious, data tr transmission mesh, uh, how to operate with the un collective unconscious as a network um, and a network of signs and spectra, spectral, spectral signs, uh, spectrality. It's an important uh, word for us as well. Uh, dreaming community, collective dreaming, collective dream practices, how to dream together, and ontological public space of dreams. This is so important as well because um, it's the idea that the, the unconscious and the dream unconscious is a political and uh, a public place. It's not just an individual idiosyncrasy. And spectral fiction. How can we operate in all this sense with uh, fiction and not necessarily religion or spirit, okay? So, uh, um, as methodology, I brought some uh, ideas, like that, that was concepts, and here is like, how can we create a methodology for work uh, with dreams collectively, like, so the first is the dreams, and after the dreams, translation, okay? So, or you talk about your dream, or you write your dream, you need to, 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 to put it in a language for, uh, for others others understand. So we call it translation. Mining dreams with uh, natural language processing or other um, digital methodology, technological methodologies. For we um, understand how to um, um, organize the ideas of dreams, because if, it's, if you are, if, if you are, if you, we are working with three people, it's easy. But with 30, 40, 50 people, 300, it started to be a little bit difficult so because that we work a lot with this um well like uh, like this um programs so digital noise accuracy with multiple layers i already told you about that this this experience of mixing dreams with noise and uh, of trying to mix and make it collective. 
So, onido drama, schizodrama, psychodrama, it's a clinical way to work with, uh, with the dreams of uh, some collectivity. Uh, performances process, I think you already know, it's like when we bring for the body all these experiences, dramatic experiences of dreams, doing rituals, working with this spectral fiction. The after construction of uh, multiple dreams, narratives, and um, like 10, 11, 12, it's like how to make it um, as a object of art or you can do whatever you want with all this construction, all, 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 with all this methodology. In my case, I brought here like a art process, like how to construct a working process or how to make a presentation or not for the public. And pandemic dreams in the end, it's um, uh, other work that uh, is part of this methodology, but is is from the pandemic times, so uh, I will let you know after. Okay, uh, looks like I am talking too much things in very small time, but I think you will understand better when I start to, to engage you in the process of uh, work, of this work. Like, first it has the dreams. So people are dreaming, so before we start uh, our courses, we just encourage people to dream a lot and remember this dream, write, write this dream, bring the dream, the dreams of this week or from, from own mouth for the courses, okay? So I will give an example of um, four dreams that uh, was part of the one of, of one of our courses. So, first translation is when you write the dreams, what came to us? Like, bars of coconut soap wet by Deo. From inside these bars come out translucent and beautiful geckos. They lick their own faces and smile at me. Second dream. Fabiana, just... just Fabiana, quickly, uh, which, which slide are you on at the moment? Because we still see the third one. Is it correct? The first one. Yeah, the third, the third one. We are on the third slide. Are you also on the third? Or are you already further? I'm in the um, six. You cannot okay, see it. Good. Now we can see it again. Great. Okay, I will try okay. to. No, it's good. Okay, I let you know uh, if. It... Tell me if you can see it. Yes. Yes. Now, we now we now we can see number six. Yeah. Okay. Or... So second dream, I cycled through a place that had landscapers in the corners, middle and back working as builders. People arrived floating as, it, as if landing on Earth, like planes, with the lightness only standing. Third, people were working to cure a fatal disease in two big machines. There were several tests, and they dressed like a child. And fourth, the mind, the maid runs out and takes off the old clothes, clothes and puts on the new clothes and says, there goes a car. I want it to be one, the street. No, I want to be on the street with people, she says, in her expensive new clothes. Can you see the next one? Uh, yeah. No. 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 Not. Not yet. No. So. No. Okay. We can so, see it. So here I brought an example of uh, when we put natural language processing and mix it um, with uh, with this digital help, mining the dreams. 
Um, it's not, uh, I'm not mixing here just these four dreams I told you, but these four dreams was um, part of it, was more than 30 dreams. So with an uh, NLP, like um, it comes like slipped, glands scared, I sweet the horses, it's not over bars. I walk at builders, people. I dream it, I graduate, I was a boy, them good. These, my dreams coming down. The brother, my punishment. Start brother, my he, my demo. Then I wall, I feel him, the importance, the whole. Woke up gasping sensation, no, I'm hidden. Was persecuted when he realized it in time. Up to the door, of this I survive. It looked like toes, three me. I wash piano. There was a tyrant. And it everything they set fire. People drop it. I started there, but I destroyed child people. So you can see uh, it mixed, but without um, without uh, clean much. Yeah, it's just the machine way of uh, mix these these dreams. So, can you see the next or not? Um, no. No. I think you don't. You you you, you if you don't uh, switch if you go back to the um, without the presentation mode, it works. So yes. don't don't push the presentation mode button and just. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, like this it works. So we did the experimentation. Like uh, we we put a simulacrum voices. It's like um, text to speech. I work with um, uh, by Julian Obis, a friend of mine, and we made some experiences with these uh, dreams and. Um, I will show just a little bit for you. It's like just a sensation, okay? Okay, it's just for you have um, uh, a, a little bit of um, the idea of um, how how can we experiment the dreams, the collective of dreams with different uh, applicatives and um, programs. So uh, now I will show how to. Um, to work with uh, in the other way to make all this mixage, all this uh, connection of dreams without using necessary the technology, the digital technology. So here I put five, six, seven, and eight, like um, onirodrama, schizodrama, psychodrama, performance mm -hmm. process, rituals, spectral fiction as um, uh, for the body practices, right? So here, for example, uh, we did it at uh, Goldsmith in 2011, and they just uh, made, uh, took uh, uh, like a, a record, I don't know in English how do you say, like I cut the, the photos just for study the movements of the body. 
yeah um i will not take so, so much time in this but just for you understand this kind of um rituals and process can make a really intensive exchange of dreams and if you do it for a while like we make the for this slide you are seeing we did uh, at capacete in rio de janeiro for 10 days and because it was so intensive and the dreams was the, the were the most important thing in that context in the fourth day for example people started to dream with the signs of the others and because of this experience we started to call dreams as a platform of communication so here is with the same group but in different context we 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 took the group for a um, very um um empty beach and we did a lot of rituals here i read with our signs um the the collective signs or entities as you want uh in, in our body language in our clothes so here was a kind of meeting of the signs of the dreams and for example a woman dreamed with salt or i don't know uh ice ice woman or uh, someone from uh, mexico blah, blah, blah. of course we don't have all these clothes to really make it but we try to get close to that and then we make that ritual like uh, incorporating these signs and make this ritual with this entity that are not us exactly it's like the dream side and <laughs> and it's funny how the language uh, of this kind of meetings change because it's not uh, ordinary, a quotidian anymore, it just goes deeper. Here I brought a little video. Tell me if you can see it. Yes, that's so fun. Yes. We, we, we saw it, now it's... Uh... Now, now we can't see it uh, uh, anymore. Can you push play again? Okay, so now you can see, right? Yeah? Yes, yes, we can see it. Yes.
É, era como uma orquestra natural que ele estivesse compondo essa música sertaneja a partir do tornado das minhocas da dança de bêbado do pássaro gigante. Um, here uh, I show it a little bit of what we call noisecracy. It's like um, three or four hours of layers uh, where all the dreams um, you 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 brought is already mixed. So we made a noisecracy as a, a ritual and. Uh, you start to listen a lot of other dreams, and then you you get the signs. You don't. You are not just saying your dream anymore. You are mixing dreams when you talk. When you make a little group and talk about it, you are already mixing uh, dreams. And okay, here I I I I, I brought just a little bit uh, uh, more photos just for you see the long process of mixing it of a uh, immersive process where we eat together, we stay together, uh, talk a lot of dreams. It's a kind of a contemporary or ancestral ritual. I was thinking um, how I, I talked with Harms the other day, how the indigenous, how, how is difficult for government here in Brazil sometimes talk with indigenous groups because sometimes they want a very fast answer for a, a earth demar demar demarcation or just for resolve some uh, political issue. But uh, uh, lots of indigenous groups here, they still have this um, dream process. They need to dream first, then if they see it, in their dreams, so they think is uh, real. In this sense, we white people, we Oxid uh, West, West, uh, East, uh, West people, we lost it. So I brought uh, this book that is, can you see it? Yes. Uh, this book is the, uh, the um, Follow Sky by David Copenawa, uh, translated by Bruce Albert to French, and uh, Follow Sky in English. Uh, this, this book is really interesting because uh, David Copenawa is an uh, indigenous, really roots. Uh, roots. He lives in Acre, he doesn't speak Portuguese really well. Maybe he speaks better than I speak English, but it's not uh, like it's not really clear uh, he is Portuguese. So he is really roots. And he br brought us in this book a lot of things about this dream process, how to how he could become a shaman, and he, he says, I just could become a shaman when I started to develop a body dream, a dreamer, like a body dreamer, because before I could not see things clearly, and after the develop this dream body, uh, I could. But after he says, the white people, they cannot uh dream anymore because they they are so 
um, neurotic. They just dream about their selves and their little histories and their li uh, little objects. They they don't go deep. And um, this is one of the reasons I started to work with uh, dreams because uh, I know the Vico Penal, I know the, the land he, he lives, but what he writes in this book is so full of um, logic and uh, he brings this idea of uh, you just can see really properly if you can see um, in Vigilia state when you are awake and when you are sleeping you can see deeper and further because if not you cannot see anything you are you are just like uh, in sleeping in both um, situations. So it's good for we understand that because when the anthropologist come or government goes there in the in the village, they want a very fast uh, result response, and they say, "Wait, I need to dream at that." And because they live in community and they normally talk about their dreams every day, every day. They use it to exchange these signs and entities and situations and experiences and happenings in the dreams. So it's not just for one, it's not an individual. It's a power way of communication. It's a collective, um, a collective uh, unconscious that works as a platform of communication as well. Of course, when we do this kind of um, workshops, we are not even even close to this um, to this um, connection, no? Because in their case, it's not just with uh, humans. So there is all this process that dream the tree, dream the river dream the forest, the forest dream it and me, it's other perspective. Who wants to know more about perspectivism and all this idea, how, how this theoretical perspective is an ontological point of view and philosophical point of view, who defend a lot of it, is Eduardo Viveiras de Castro, maybe some of you know him already. Um, he wrote two or three books that is really important for understand what is the difference of a mystical society or esoteric society or um, religious society and a perspective indigenous, Amerindian in this case, Amerindian ontological perspective. Because for us, for rational people, uh, it, it always seems that if they are talking about this um, deepness, it's because they are... Um, superstitious, because they don't know the truth, because they have no rationality, or because they are just dumb and stupid, uh, like child. But uh, when you understand as a perspective, it changes a lot. And of course, I, I talk I, I, as a psychologist, I, I, fit, I fit my work with uh, the indigenous perspective. But at the same time, um, we, we, we don't want to copy anything. So because that, we work with the idea of a free cosmogony. Free cosmogony. How can we operate with the ancestral futurism with free cosmogony or free cosmology or free entities and free gods? Because all this techno shamanism process comes from the um, um, free software movement and this idea about free free license free software free hardware it uh, it became uh, really strong for techno shamanism because techno shamanism in brazil born from the free software movement and in a moment where the free software was shared with all these communities 
uh, by um, Culture Ministry in a project called uh, Culture Hotspot. So, Pontos de Cultura in Portuguese. So, this is from where uh, grow up this techno shamanism uh, ideas. So, let's understand ancestral futurism is when we um, understand that the line between the ancestrality, the ancestral, ancestral and the future is not linear and it's not progressive. It's more as an environment or a river or an ocean or a cosmos around the earth. You are inside of a, a land of ancestries. And these ancestries, ancestralities and ancestors, is not just for behind, like what my father did, what my grandfather did, or what the homo the first homo sapiens did. But all that happened in the formation of the earth, all this process that makes us be intelligent and humans or uh, other entities is like <laughs> um, involved uh, with ancestry, as a, ancestry as a molecular process of uh, environment that invi in, um, involve everything that exists as the earth is involved by the cosmos and at the same time it is part of the cosmos so when you understand it's not linear and progressive but it is like an environment you start to understand better how can we work with this other perspective that is not just linear progressive and and um, go straight away to somewhere. I know all of you knows already what I'm saying. I'm just sharing uh, a little bit of um, the concepts that we use. So maybe it's already too much time, right? Uh, here I, I brought an example in the Alps. Uh, here a little bit like these girls. Um, Organizing the dreams. <coughs> In the desert. So here they 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 are doing the workshop, but uh, look at uh, one of the mixed dreams that we did in the Swiss Alps um, um, University of um, uh, now I forgot the the capital of Swiss um, uh, I forgot the name of the university. Sorry, we are in a tree with the newborn child. This tree is bigger than all the other trees. We are traveling with this tree through the desert. Its branches protect us. They protect us from all things. We are all things. The newborn child is all things. She has light. The throats are smiling. All things fall into a hole in the ground. The boat heads towards the desert and turns into a wonderful garden. In this wonderful garden appeared more trees. The trees go towards the light. We are all smiling with the newborn child. We are all things in the hole in the desert floor. So this is what they are doing here. They are mixing the dreams and uh, uh, this is what we re uh, I, re I, wrote, I wrote now is, um, is a derivated dream. So why do we do all these 
methodologies of exchange dreams because uh, this is a part of the process of dream, the dreams of others. You start with uh, something external and during the process you begin to, to make it uh, clear and closer to your um, normal life. And this is a potentiality against the um, kidnap of the dreams. We, uh, I separated four or five texts. I will send to her, Andrea and Mona, and I ask them to send it to you for you understand uh, if you if you are curious or want to read a little bit more about this subject. But the idea of um, uh, uh, hijacking dreams is the idea of um, this oh, selvage capitalism, uh, all this uh, history of um, stolen the dream of people, stolen the, the, the ability, the skills of just sleep and dream. Um, artificializing it. And when we um, make this kind of project, it's a kind of a resistance. Uh, resistance in the sense of um, memory, um, this deepness, no, work with this futuristic ancest ancestral process, um, languages, imaginaries, mental health, and all that things we worked on the beginning, all that uh, ideas. Because dream, it's not just a language, not just a public space, a platform of communication, but is a um, um, health um, mental process. So I will I will finish now. Just showing other places like here it was in 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 Linz in Austria. Um, we can draw it. We don't need it just to 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 make a music or a photo novel. In this case, look, people just took the dreams outside of Capacete, where we did it. The South is that to, it appeared like the South is that to, everybody dreamed with that, and suddenly it uh, became a performance. Um, Sunya Mandu stayed like four or five hours. Uh, in this position, in a little mount of salt. You cannot see because it's dark, uh, the photos, but uh, it's a mountain of salt. So uh, can be uh, draw language. And uh, in the end, I just want to um, show very fast the Pandemic Dreams Archive. It was, we did during the pandemic. So we have a site. And the site we collect in dreams. So, for example, this I, I brought three dreams. I read the one. Once I was living in a hotel and I became a cat. One day I went outside and sat in the rain. I was at a place like a public. So people sent to us a lot of dreams. Then uh, we construct a cartographic graph, onetic cartography, uh, where we read it from the, these graphics. For example, you put here um, in the, where it says Busca, you put here house. And the graph, the graphs will show how many dreams were Use, was using were using this word and how it connect with each other so it uh, can make beautiful draws um, 
like in this case the the big name is um pessoas or process <laughs> my eyes is is worse than i thought okay here the the the, the next one is dream for example how many um dreams dream it with the word dream so this helped us to understand the the size the size of all this networking right because the dreams were really crazy during the pandemic i'm sure you uh, saw some other projects about dreams So if you want to um, know Macuna, Macuna is machine unconscious algorithm. It's algorithm based on natu natural language program and Markov chain created to help us find other connections, fields among the signs that appear on our dreams archive. It produces transversal cuts while generating narratives through this unconscious network make the agencies that appeared in the dreams talk to each other a machine with a sense of humor and its own delus delusions to get to know it access by telegram so you go to telegram and put the pandemic dreams and you can join the group there you put command um, trace like this trace and dream and it will give you a dream in english it's so funny the dreams of macuna and she is macuna because this book of uh, mario de andrade from the beginning of the century uh, 19th century uh, 20th uh, century 20 macuna ima it was a, a hero without any ethic who who were talking uh, uh, about uh, these robots of the future so um we 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 called this macuna because we did a homenage of macuna ima from mario andrade So here I brought two examples of dreams that um, um, Macuna uh, dreams, like for example, like this. Somewhat this is dangerous. I realized it was strange. I thought at the destruction on the beach because of the global meditation. It didn't come in. <laughs> but it was wider and more blue than cloudy i closed myself in warm waters i keep trying to get up even in the cabins lagos brother had said yagos brother had said that it was the night of the stairs the night of the stairs is still on the side of their hands which fill into a type of cream so sometimes it's really deep even sometimes it's so funny the dreams of macuna and macuna is like this this telegram uh, entity that lives there who mix all these dreams of the pandemic that is part of our archive and mix it and bring new derivated dreams so here i stop for we talk a little bit i i hope i'm i'm not I, i i was not really confused i hope you you got it and thank you hi how are you um I have, I have a question about uh it's like because I I didn't quite uh understood uh what is dreaming in this context like it is like a performative action it's like dreaming like for sure like factual dreaming like you sleep at night 
and then you share this dream or are like uh, collective creations that like somehow influence this kind of dreaming that happens like when we are sleeping no we are talking night sleep dreaming it's like uh, really sleep and dream <laughs> okay thank you Just build up on top of this, because you have this group, uh, you show these photos of this group, um, like a workshop you did, and then you showed us the story of a group dream, like, uh, but I didn't quite understand, like, what was the <coughs> progress? So people share, like, I can imagine people, like, what, what do they do in their workshops so that they um, ended up with this result, or what was this result? How how did they like? How was it coming to be? Yes. Uh, well, I think it's like a methodology shared, and after the courses, you can go further and uh, make your own uh, process and go deeper in the subject, or you just forget. But during the workshops, normally people get with um, the dreams. Um, alive, it's like it started to be more, uh, it started to become um, uh, more clear and with more power. It's not just a very um, weak image, but it's something like that really gets it. But if you stop to do the workshops, you and don't do anything anymore just come back to your normal life and forget so these results just uh, go go away so it's something that uh, you 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 have to work a little bit every day in your life sometimes you stop it so this got flat 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 then you start again, so it starts to answer again. So the workshops is just for make it in a very interesting and creative, uh, artistic and uh, psychological, clinical in this case, a process, but to give you um, ferramentas, to give you tools. Tools, thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Hey, Fabiane, uh, Alberto, uh, I, I think you talked, uh, you could understand the ancestral part of the ancestral futurism, but how, what, how do you understand Futurism uh, in relation to ancestrality. What is your idea of this futurism? Yes. Um, well, there is a lot of um, problems with these words. But uh, I was talking with um, uh, a friend of mine who is um, Tupinamba, and he is indigenous to Pinamba, but he is really good with um, in digital and programming, etc. And we are talking these days and he says the futurism in the end is the, the little part of the ancestry. The ancestry is much bigger. And I thought in a concept of the lazy, when he talks about catalyzation, and I say, yes, futurism in this sense could be seen as a projection and actualization of all these imaginaries that exist in the past and is not actualized in reality. So in this case, the ancestry is already futuristic because it can see much... Um, larger and further than us. So it is already seeing us from the future because it is like a, a, this cosmos or this big lake, or big ocean. And the futurism is like a thin 
process of actualization of, of all these ideas of the future, all these projections of the future. So nowadays I'm seeing futurism like this. I don't know if um, it's clear. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would have also a question in connection to, to the question about the workshops, um, because I was asking me um, how, how, how they are organized. That do all the people who take, uh, who participate, always have uh, something on their eyes so that they can't see? So good is this part of this workshop concept or part of a ritual? Uh, that's one. Uh, that's one part uh, of a question. And the other part is how do the people, uh, the participants, share their dreams during performances, or do they narrate their dreams and the others listen to it? Or, or... so I'm. Come back to this uh, workshops and how they take place. Okay, I don't know if I understood um, all the the question. Uh, it's like how people can go to the workshop. Please, uh, they, they, if, they, if they have, if they always have something on their eyes. No? Is this important that they have something on their eyes? It seems ah, so. Okay. Okay, it's just like a part of the. Um, it's it's part of uh, one of the methodologies. We don't need to use it always, but it's more like for give you the sense of um, of um, be in the dark a bit for you get in touch with all these new subjects and dreams and uh, ideas without look much, like not, not be so worried with the physiognomy of the others. Sometimes we put, put smoke in the room or if people doesn't like, sometimes we just uh, try to do it without uh, much lighter. But it's just the way to disconnect yourself with the vision, because vision is so operant, so incisive, and sometimes it um, destroys uh, our <laughs> tentative, our try to connect uh, deeper. So this is, is just a, a way to play with that. Max? Yeah, thank you for your uh, talk and sharing the practice. Um, I had a question about scale and uh, you uh, talked, I think you briefly mentioned it, uh, of um, scaling the collective dreaming up from a, work a workshop situation and I wonder what your experience was where you might see the limits or what um, yeah, challenges you ran into when you increase the size of the group. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, I, I, I did uh, just the maximal days I did was 10. So after 10 days, I, I, I did not do, I didn't do because it's difficult to put people together for more than 10 days, right? So maybe <laughs> during the pandemic, we had this extreme environment that took all of us. So we were with our dreams more like clear and strong. But uh, normally uh, it's, I don't know if you in the 10 days the, the the workshop with 10 days we did it was incredible like how it worked fast in the fourth day people were already dreaming some signs 
chat. I'm not saying, oh, people just got together and traveled together and they entering the dream of others because it is so difficult and you need a, a lot of, uh, or you have the skills <laughs> in your body, like it's not everybody, or it takes a long time to, to get it. But for make this a uh, process of um, sharing, doing the sign of the others and be more healthy and clean your neurological process for dream and see it with clarity after four days. So between the four and seven days, it was the, seven, the eight, the four until the eight days. People were sharing, really sharing a lot, the dreams. Something uh, happened. And I think it's like it started the communication, right? But then when finish the course, or you make a group for yourself and try to, to work, or make other course, or, or, or it's difficult to maintain alone. So I was thinking maybe to do, I don't know, maybe to, to make it like uh, every day, is, uh, it's difficult. It's like you cannot make just two years of uh, dreamers sleeping every night, every day. It's like it's too much work. So yeah, so this is my answer. I don't know. The limit is the noisy crazy, for example, is really stream and strong. It's not good to put people there who have problems with a, a panic attack or anxiety or uh, other kind of a disease. So it's good to, to, to know these things before and be prepared, everybody, it's good if everybody and uh, knew it together, yeah, I will experiment it. If you feel bad, you, you leave the room fast, uh, will be someone there, like me or other person, uh, no, to, to bring people back, because once happened, once happened that one girl with 14 years old, uh, it was not immersive, it was in the square, in, the, 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 in a city in Spain, and she went too far. So after she could not can really easily, so we, need, we, we spent like four hours with her, for she just come down, we called her father, her parents, you understand? But in these groups with adults and artists, it's, it's easier. People were more like hunger of the future, like I did before, I said before. So uh, 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 there is no much problem. This is the limit. So you need to, to talk with people, with a group who, for they understand. This is a little bit, a bit intense if you have problems with psychopathia, schizophrenia, or things like that can be difficult.